European Nuclear Society. Thanks for coming here with us. He's so old that it will take him too much time to tell more my biography. <laughs> <laughs> lose all that the time we have at our disposal. So, okay, we are fighting back. Um, there is a revival of struggles. Uh, capitalism uh, is showing it doesn't work. And um, everything is okay. New movements have been capable of bringing new issues on the agenda, and so on. But I hope you forgive me if I will go a little bit against the grain. Uh, if instead of discussing the return of Marx to the limelight and the fight back against the system of trade unions and social movements, in two separate panels, we were to discuss the two issues together, uh, it would probably be uh, more evident that the two phenomena are not at all going together. For one thing is shocking, on one hand, the new movement seem to have never heard of Marx, while on the other hand, those who have uh, rediscovered him are usually far away from these movements. What I want to say is that the new movement and the left they are close to, they are connected to, are in most uh, cases uh, um, characterized by their lack a world long-term historical vision of a general critical interpretation of the system, not to speak about any hypothesis of overcoming it. They are mainly protest struggle, which do not look beyond the boundaries of the present system, neither imagine some sort of alternative. On the other hand, those who rethink and rediscover Marx seem to have no intention to commit themselves in the struggle aimed to change the world. If I think at the participation of intellectuals after the war to the political activity, I remain shocked. There was an enormous participation, not that. Gramsci's recent widespread fortune, even in this country, for instance, <laughs> is an indication. He is mentioned as a brilliant intellectual, Nobody seems to remember he has been the leader of the Italian Communist Party. And after his death, the one who shaped its culture and political force. And this is the reason, by the way, why he was in prison for 10 years, not because he was an intellectual. <laughs> Hosborn says, uh, Marx failed as prophet of international communism. And this is true. But that he remained indeed important, he remained important, important as critic of globalizing capitalism. The present movements fight against globalization and they are also anti capitalist, but they are totally non interested in how capitalism works. I do not want to generalize and I keep therefore to my continent, better to my country. What prevails in our movements seems to be a mixture of utopianism, ethic inspiration, which is not bad, um, neo-anarchism, very, very influential, a disdain for power as a tool for changing the system. The slogan, um, another world is possible, which has been the slogan of the World Social Forum, remain a long-term goal, so long, nobody could say where and when, in which circumstances, it will be possible. I do not dismiss the interest for these movements and struggles, which are, in fact, increasing, and that's it's very good. I am not criticizing this movement. I criticize the radical left, all of it, in my country at least, for its benevolent, a critical attitude towards this movement, being largely conquered by the so-called theory of the multitude, the idea that a fragmented sum of disconnected social and geographical social sectors could just through protest lead us beyond the boundaries of the present system without building a common 